Hey guys, Tyler at North 40 Fly Shop in Coeur d'Alene. Today we're going to do a fly tying segment and today I'm going to show you guys how to tie, uh, I call this the hot butt steelhead stone fly. And um, used to fish these a bunch like over on the Met Howl, still fish them on the Grand Ronde, um, fished them on the Clearwater, the Snake, pretty much all of our local steelhead streams. Um, you can definitely nymph it uh, underneath an indicator in tandem just like you would trout fishing, maybe with an egg pattern behind it. <clears throat> or it's, uh, it's a good swinging pattern too, so early in the year um, I like to find some heavier choppy riffles on a hot sunny day, maybe on the clear water, middle of August, September, and uh, some of that heavier choppy water I'll run a pretty heavy duty stone fly either just on my dry line or you could run a pretty light tip. Um, and this guy's super heavy. I actually underwrap a bunch of lead underneath, un underneath the, uh, the body here and it really does get down and dig. So, and I've done really well with it, um, swinging too, versus just uh, as an indicator uh, type style nymphing uh, nymph. But anyway, it's a cool little fly, um, pretty flashy, gaudy, got lots going on here. Um, definitely catches the steelhead's attention when you're fishing it. So anyways, um, let's, uh, let's show you guys how to tie it. So let's start out by adding our lead on. So on this particular, particular fly, we're gonna put uh, 035 on here, so pretty heavy duty. Um, this is a size six, but I tie it up to like a one aught, you know, so I do tie it quite a bit bigger too. But uh, anyway, start by adding a pretty healthy amount of lead here. We're gonna bring it all the way up to the lead, and then we're actually gonna come backwards on the thorax portion for a little extra weight. So this guy's really gonna tank down when we're fishing it. So go ahead and secure in your thread. Do a good job wrapping here. Um, one thing I don't like is uh, maybe you've caught a couple fish and uh, that lead can actually start to slide down a little bit. So be careful with that. Make sure you put a, quite a few wraps in there. All right, next we're gonna put our uh, McFly foam in here. And this is gonna be for our little hot spot on the back. And I'm gonna start up here, kind of right behind that thorax, and that's gonna kind of even out our body a little bit here. And I'm gonna come down the, the bend just a touch. And then clip it short, and that gives us a nice little hot spot back there. Um, next we're gonna add our tail for our rubber legs. So we're gonna come right back here. And one nice thing about that McFly foam there on that little hot spot, it's gonna help our tail kind of uh, separate a little bit here. It makes it kind of stand apart like so. Okay, and then we'll come and trim that out just a little. Okay, and next we're gonna add our flash. This is gonna go over the back here, guys. So we're gonna add this in, pretty healthy amount. Come all the way back to there. And then our wire for our ribbing. Okay. And then chenille. Boom, all right and back up. So we're gonna gather our flash first. Get that kind of tidied up a little bit. Now we're gonna wrap our chenille. And just up to your thread here, and then stop, tie that off. Like so. Trim your tag. Cool. And next we're gonna do our flash. Bring that guy over tie it down. And trim. I'll set that aside. You can use there's plenty there to use for a couple other flies. And then we're going to counter rib our wire. You don't need to do super tight wraps, just maybe 4 to 5 wraps here. Like so. Okay. Wire. All right, next we're gonna tie in our, our hackle. And got a pretty big webby hackle. I'm gonna come up a little ways here because I wanna 
Make sure we're grabbing some of the longer fibers in this hackle here. Tie him in. Grab another piece of chenille. I've tied these where I've dubbed the thorax. You know, if you guys want to do that, it kind of adds a little different depth or maybe a different color chenille. Um, of course, you guys can do whatever you want. And then <clears throat> our rubber legs. I'll do get a couple, tie them right up on top. Makes things go a little quicker. And then bring them down to the sides here. Like so. I'm going to start wrapping. Just kind of intersecting all of our legs. Tie your chenille off, like so. Okay, and then we're gonna wrap our hackle. Get that leg out of the way. Trying to not trap too many of those fibers down when I'm wrapping. Like so. And get that stem to tuck in right behind that collar there and it kind of cleans that up nicely. Trim your stem off and then we're going to put a good uh, thread here. Cool. And then tie it off. Pretty quick little fly. Very cool looking fly. I like this guy a lot. Like I said, pretty dual purpose fly for nymphing under an indicator if you want, or you guys could run it just uh, on a dry line swinging um, or on a sink tip. But this thing's super heavy. And again, like I said, I tied this up to maybe a one aught uh, for a bigger profile, maybe uh, for some lethargic winter steelhead. But uh, give this guy a try. It's a good one uh, throughout the year swinging nymphing. And again, this is the hot butt steelhead stonefly. Thanks for watching. Take care.